Two Wheels is proudly powered by Broadlink, delivering serious bandwidth for serious business. Welcome to the show. This week, Bill Hunter is standing by to put the new BMW S1000R street bike through its paces. Don't blink and don't go far. I must have the best job in the world. I don't really know what it is besides sitting on a helmet in the middle of the road, but it is a good job. But on a more sensible note, I'm out here testing that, the new BMW S1000R. Not the RR, but the R. They've basically taken their S1000RR race bike, which has won races all over the world, including many national championships here, and stuck a set of motocross bars on it to make it more streetable, shall we say. Instead of that, you're more like that. We took it to the dyno. They've lopped off 2,000 RPM and 20 horsepower. So it makes 150 horsepower at the wheel. Coincidentally, that's about the same as the KTM 1290 Superdu. Do you think that's a coincidence? I'm not so sure. But it does make more torque and more horsepower right the way through the rev range up to 10,000 RPM, where obviously the race bike would take over and dominate round a racetrack. But it is certainly one beast of a thing on the road and really, really usable. You've got a rocket ship, a commuter, and a general all right nice bike to ride. The S1000R is loaded with the best cycle parts available, like Brembo monoblock brake calipers, top of the range suspension components, and a gear quick shifter, which does work well. A cool clock layout. And we're really pleased that BMW finally gave up the old system handlebar switch gear and now have easily accessible switches, including engine mode settings, ABS activation, and a functional cruise control button. Certainly an eye-catching machine and probably a class leader in the street bike wars. Next up, we thought we would give the BM a chance to show its paces on our drag strip. Not forgetting that Bill was British drag racing champion. 10,61. That's just about the quickest bike we've had on the strip. The usual Superbike 1000cc configuration with a superb six-speed tranny. Not the lightest street bike out there, but the power-to-weight ratio is class-leading. And it's extremely well-priced. Anyway, let's catch up with Bill at the racetrack. So it's a good road bike, and I mentioned earlier that the S1000R is a derivative of the RR. So we had to come and try it at a racetrack. So we've come along to Midvol. The sun is now out, thankfully, but the wind's up. Now, I've got a bit of a headache. I am extremely fast, but my headache is stopping me from going round the track. So I was actually wondering if I'd be able to find someone at this desolate place at the moment who could perhaps ride it for me. Well, I have found someone rather special and rather fast, and he's over there. It's Sheridan Marias, world superbike contender, who apparently has just come back from Le Mans, where he got a podium. Let's go and have a chat with him to find out how this happened. Sheridan third at Le Mans, that's quite impressive. Uh, tell us a bit about it and what bike would you ride, which is quite interesting. Well, we're on the R1, the Yamaha um, Team Yacht. Uh, it's a change up, obviously, being on the Kawasaki and World Superbike, but yeah, I couldn't turn down the op opportunity, you know. Uh, last year we raced the Baldor 24 hour and uh, we got a second place, so yeah, I was looking forward to a good result as well. And um, yeah, the Le Mans 24 hour, it's, it's hardcore, it's like really hard on the body, your head, everything. So yeah, um, we managed the third place, so that was special because I mean, there were 350,000 plus people there, it was insane. So yeah, really good experience and um, yeah, looking forward to some more. Well, I'm not going to ask you to ride for 24 hours today, mate, because I have to go out, and uh, I'm going to ask you for 24 minutes, and he's not on a factory R1, it's on a S1000R road bike, so are you looking forward to trying this thing out? I quite like it. Yeah, it looks pretty factory to me, so, um, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I've heard good things, so we'll see what happens.
Sheridan, looks like you're enjoying yourself out there on this S1000R so-called street bike. What do you think to it? I think it's really impressive. Like, I don't know, I haven't ridden a stock super bike that can do what this thing does. You know, it's really, really strong. It's comfortable with the upright bars and that. So, yeah, I, th I think it's an awesome bike. So you think on the average day it would lap quicker than the RR? I would rate so because, like, <laughs> like I say, with the upright bars, it's super comfortable and it goes. Like the engine's really strong. So I, w I would say for like the general guy that does a track that Kyle Army, no matter what the lap time is, because I feel like this could probably do the same lap time as the national bike. So. Yeah, I would say bang on a set of tyres and go to track days with this thing and yeah, I think you'll be doing fast lap times. Certainly uh, interesting comment from our World Superbike contender. He loves it. 10 out of 10.